Good afternoon, family. Today is still Thursday, March 7th, 2024. And I am back with another episode. Thank y'all for tuning in. It's the lunch break. And I was thinking about y'all. And what I wanted to do with this video here is This is for people who are on the verge of giving up right now. You thought long and hard about, and this can go from, for anybody. It ain't just old people. You, you can be young, 18, 19 years old. You can be old, middle age, man, woman, white, black. It don't matter. Sometimes life Throw those Mike Tyson left hooks and right crosses and I'm talking about just all upside your head. And you feel like you had enough, you can't take it no more. You might be young, 20, 21 years old, 22. Don't know where you're going in life. Had a rough upbringing. No parents. Grew up in the hood, the ghetto. Mama don't love you. Daddy don't know who you is. I can relate. You might have wanna, you might be right now ready to check out, wanna off yourself. You broke, no future, no career. Don't know what you're gonna do. Which way you going to turn. Nobody want to be bothered with you. Because you don't have anything. Spill as, as a young man. Or you might be a young woman. Single mother. And you got kids. The father not helping you. And you got dudes out here. That won't even give you a chance. Because they won't date single mom. And you struggling. And you ain't blaming nobody for that. You, you take responsibility for your own actions. For wherever you are in your life. And you feel like, you know, is it really worth it? Like, what's the point? Where am I going? It's going to always be like this. This is not going to change. I don't, I'm, I'm just done. And you ready to give up because nobody has gone through what you're going through. Nobody understands your situation. This the hardest it has been for anybody. Nobody can relate to what you're going through. Not so fast, my friend. You tuned in to this video for a reason. Because you listened to somebody who was a crackhead away from suicide. What you mean, Big Water, crackhead away from suicide? What I mean is, I was five minutes away, once that blunt would have been gone that I was hitting, from off of myself. But a crackhead by the name of Weenie walked up and saw something was going on with me. And he talked me out of what I was feeling at the time. I had just lost my mother, who died in my arms, my adopted mother, who I consider my mother, my biological mother, that's a whole other story. But the mo the woman that I considered my mother, the one I had the motherly son bond with, died in my arms unexpectedly. Freaked me out. So, plus I had some other things going on in my life during that same amount of time, back to back to back issues, compiled on to the fact my mother just died in my arms. Unexpectedly. No warning, no she been sick for a couple of years and we, you know, we, we kind of expected it. This one went from okay to dead like that, in my arm. So I was done with life. I have no future. I'm an ex-drug dealer, no skills. A drug habit. 
broke. No prospects on life. Like nobody, all the friends I had gone. No women. Nothing. Just me and a crackhead sitting on the back of the porch talking. From that point on, up until where I am now, I'm telling y'all, whoever got the audacity to want to give up and quit because life is hard right now. And it's been hard for some years. Because my life didn't change overnight. It took years. See, I'm at a point right now, I'm doing better than I've ever done in life. I'm at a point right now that I didn't think I would ever be at. I never thought I would be here where I am now. I ain't, I ain't tell y'all all what I got going on. I got enough hate to let it is. But I never thought I would be where I am right now. To go from sitting on the back porch with Weenie, allowing a crackhead to talk me out of off of myself to where I am right now. I didn't see that back then. But for some reason, after I had that talk, which God delivered that man to me, after I had that discussion with him, I decided, you know what? Come hell or high water, whatever may be going on, I don't have no clue where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what the outcome going to be. I don't know what the end of the road going to look like. I don't know nothing. But what I do know is, I'm not giving up ever again. I don't care what's going on. I'm not quitting. I'm not giving up. I'm not entertaining that thought ever again. I'm checking out. Because it's not going good for me. Life is pain. Deal with it. But in the end, because wherever you are right now, you're still living. You're not at the end yet. This is just a page in your book. Your life is a script. Your life is a movie being written. Your life is a book being written. You're not at the end yet. You cannot check out on chapter two. You ready to check out right now. You probably just in chapter two of your life. Or probably a 30 or 40, 50 or 80, 90, 100 chapter book. You in chapter two. Your 20s. Chapter three. Your 30s. Chapter four. Your 40s. You cannot check out in chapter two. It's not the end of your story. Your story is still being written. I got a story that I can tell you some horror times. Horror stories. Near death experiences. Life not worth living experiences. But I can also tell you some stories where life is wonderful. Life is great. Life is better than I could have imagined. I got some of them stories too. But if I would have checked out during the horror story, I wouldn't have made it to the fairy tale. Everybody gonna have some bad in their life, some hard times, some troubles, some trials, some tribulations. Everybody. But I guarantee you, if you hold on, no matter how long it takes, you don't know how long it's gonna take. I don't know how long it's gonna take. But I just know to tell you that it's coming. Your good times are coming. Better days are coming. Guarantee, as the, the Cajuns say. You got to hold on, baby. I don't, I ain't going to say, I don't, it ain't that I don't care, but I don't care how hard it is for you right now. You're a young man, you're broke, unemployed, no skills, dropped out of school, uh, dr hooked on drugs, whatever your issue is, all that can be changed. With just, I ain't going to quit. I'm not giving up. No matter who walk away from me, no matter who else give up on me, no matter who don't believe in me, 
I'm not quitting. After I had that talk with Wayne on the back porch, from that point on, my mind was made up, I'm not quitting on me ever again. And I went on years after that, still wasn't doing good. Now, I ain't telling you as soon as I had that talk with Wayne, my life just got wonderful. You know, I had many more struggles after that. I have struggles today. I have fears and worries and stuff and doubts today. So I'm not telling you after I had that little conversation that kept me from offering myself that all of a sudden, whoa, the heavens opened up and matter rained down on me to where everything was wonderful from that point on. No, 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 no. Still had some struggles, still had some hard times. Had some hard times the very next day after that conversation. Only thing changed was me, my mindset. Not quitting, not giving up. But that mindset got me where I am right now. Sitting out here at work, making money, looking around, chilling, making videos. Talking to thousands of people. From five minutes away from suicide to talking to thousands of people in one lifetime and growing. I'm talking to thousands now, but it's gonna be millions later. From sitting on the back porch with a crackhead, ready to go in here and get this little rusty little gun I got and put some work in on myself to where I am now talking to y'all. Don't you dare give up. It ain't over. I know it may suck right now. And it may suck for some more years to come. But I guarantee you, if you hold on and don't quit, don't give up on yourself. I don't care who else gave up on you. My mama gave up on me. Girls, women then gave up on me. Friends gave up on me. I even gave up on myself. God didn't give up on me. Now, I can't imagine knowing what I know now ever thinking about quitting again. And one more thing before I go. If you say Big Ward, I hear you, man, but I just can't take it no more. I gotta go. I gotta check out. Who's to say when you check out where you're going is better than what you got here now? Who would you say when you check out that where you're going ain't worse than this? Because we got people that say this will happen when you die, this will happen when you die. Nobody really knows. I ain't never met nobody that died and came back to tell me this will happen after death. All we got is faith and belief and religion. Not facts. So you might be thinking about checking out because you want some relief from all this pain and suffering that you got going on now. How do you know you ain't going to be going to some more pain and suffering worse than the pain and suffering you got right now? That's something to think about. You know what you got going on right here. You don't know what's over there. It might be worse. As they say, the grass ain't always green on the other side. Hold what you got. Hang in there. It's going to work out for you. If you don't quit. Get it? Got it? Good. Bye.